thank you guys so much for coming by. Um, this is the Migrant Farm Worker Clinic breakout room. I'm Monica, I'm the facilitator. Uh, feel free to put your questions in the chat or put an X in the chat at any time if you think of a question. Um, I'm just gonna have the panelists introduce themselves and then hopefully we'll have some time for Q&A at the end. So thanks for coming. Um, I'm Kelly Oringer. I am one of the general pediatricians uh, here at Michigan Medicine. So I do outpatient pediatrics and I've been involved with Migrant Farm Worker Outreach since the mid to late 90s when I was a pediatrics resident. Um, and it's one of the most favorite things that I do as part of my faculty role. Um, we go out every Thursday evening in the summers for about eight to 10 weeks. And we go to different farms and see the farm workers um, where they live and work. We will set up sort of a several tables um, around their housing units and see patients um, throughout the evening until sunset and then drive back to Ann Arbor. Um, this clinic is run by students and residents. Um, the faculty, we're just kind of there to oversee things, um, but really the students and the residents do all the work. Um, so it's a wonderful opportunity for um, first year medical students through senior fourth year medical students to come out and really um, have a really active role in um, meeting the farm workers uh, where they live and work, seeing what their lives are like a little bit and um, trying to address whatever medical, dental, or mental health issues that they um, might wanna talk about. So I think it's a really, I, I think one of the um, most uh, terrific options for outreach that uh, we have here at Michigan Medical School. Hi everyone, I'm Eleanor Sun. I'm a general internist at Michigan Medicine and um, I've, this is also one of the favorite things that I do in the summer. Just the fact that we spend a Thursday evening in the summer doing this says a lot. You know, it's something that we enjoy doing. We look forward to doing. Um, I love the people I work with. Um, the residents and students are truly committed, energetic, excited. Um, many of us as attendings don't speak Spanish or very little. So we are very reliant on students and residents to help with communication, translation. Um, so it's a great opportunity for students to practice their Spanish, to be a really important role in the um, care. So it, you could start as early as M1 year in August if you are on top of things and sign up and wanna come out. Um, you can come out with us. And even if you don't speak Spanish, you can observe and learn. And I like it was fascinating to me as someone who grew up in um, Detroit suburbs and lived in Ann Arbor for many years to see a slice of life that I wouldn't see otherwise. And um, I, so as Kathy has said in other groups, I think it's important for everyone to just see it once or to come out once and see how it, people, um, how they work, li work and live and um, what we can do on the scene. Um, what can I say? Um, super fun. You can come out once or multiple times. Most students just come out once. Um, uh, 30 to 45 minute drive. Um, we usually carpool. Um, there's a lot of camaraderie um, because when we get there, we're all trying to figure things out. Each site is a little bit different and the setup is rudimentary as you can see, um, but um, it's such a positive place to be. You know, the it's pretty real. Um, you just see the health disparities right in front of your face. Um, and I feel like each time I go, um, um, I'm grateful that people are um, so open and willing to talk to us and to trust us. And it kind of gives me faith in the whole enterprise. Um, and uh, the students, you know, invariably find it valuable. So um, yeah, come, come join us. You know, whether or not you do it a lot or a little bit, I think, um, it's uh, universally positive, so. So this is um, Ada. She's probably the main org um, administrator and uh, she's super committed to the farm workers. She goes out to the farms ahead of time and she talks to the farm workers and lets them know we're coming, tries to find out who needs to be seen. Um, you know, she's the one, if we write prescriptions, she fills them and brings them back to the farm. Um, so she's very critical in our interactions. This is a scene of, a, you know, one of our students here um, working with a patient and at a table with a very, you know, basic paper chart. I think this is beautiful. This is, a you know, at the farm, you can see 
probably corn behind here and just the sunset. Um, looks like a cooler evening because we're wearing some jackets. Um, usually does get cooler in the evening. We have a and, question in the chat, um, yeah. which is kind of how many spots are available? Is it, you know, are, is there a lot of competition to be able to come out or are people able to go kind of as often as their availability um, allows to medical students? Um, we see some students who come multiple times. We really don't have a limit per se. It's um, a transportation might be the only, you know, in the past I would take four students in my car, you know, some residents would drive out together, some students would drive out on their own. Um, so it's, you know, but we want to make sure each student has, if there are too many students, they won't get to do very much, right, um, as much. So we try to, I think we try to sign up four students, four residents each week. Um, I think what happens, and you guys may have experienced this a bit already, there's so many things going on. And most students don't come in and say, I will do migrant clinic only. So people are kind of sampling the smorgasbord. And um, we find that if students don't come, it's because they're doing something else super cool. So I think, um, Claire, if you wanted to come like all the time, awesome. <laughs> and if you go off and do other stuff that may be like the more common trajectory. Um, so yeah. And we sometimes have to cancel due to weather. So, you know, if there's a thunderstorm, lightning, we just, you know, we play it by ear and we quickly tell everybody, everybody I don't think it's going to happen tonight. And, you know, we'll try to go to that farm another week. Amy, there's no language requirement. I don't know. I do not speak Spanish. Um, Kathy, you, you're pretty good with your Spanish. And Eleanor, I don't know. I think we kind of understand a bit, Eleanor, after all these years of doing it, but we don't speak it. So we really are reliant. Um, but typically, if we have four residents and four students, there will be at least four in that group of eight who have very excellent Spanish skills. So we just pair people up, someone who speaks Spanish and can interpret if needed with someone who maybe doesn't. And then um, fewer of the faculty, I think, um, speak Spanish. Um, but yeah, there's no language requirement, um, just an interest in coming out and, um, you know, meeting these farm workers and learning a little something about their lives and their um, exposure to healthcare in their home country and um, trying to help them with any medical needs they might have here. Thanks for joining us tonight. And we hope you learned something um, in all these breakout rooms about our our values at UMMS, but also kind of their, these offerings that we have that are pretty unique. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for the second look content yet to come on Slack. Um, we also have like a guide to DHE related efforts handbook that is in progress that will be sent out. And if you have any more questions um, about diversity and health equity at UMS, um, please feel free to post on the Slack channel or um, direct message Natalie Vela or Emily Vote on Zoom or on Slack. Um, so please feel free to come out to the next Monday Night Live next week uh, for the Ann Arbor Social Mixer. Thank you guys.